Hi and welcome back to my channel. My name is Erica. Today we are unboxing the January Sew Sampler. If you are new to Sew Sampler boxes, they are monthly sewing and quilting subscription boxes. They're put out by Fat Quarter Shop. They are $29.95 plus shipping per month. Today we're gonna take a look at the January 2024 box. So I do have my little insert here. This comes in all of the boxes. It tells you everything about all the products in your box, retail value, and how to use it. The theme for this month's box is called Hats Off To You. On the back there is a 15% off Lori Holt Notions, and then also a QR code to get a free Jelly Roll pattern. So I'm gonna start off with the block of the month. So every year they run a 12 series of boxes, and each month you get another pattern that goes with a sew along. And so we are on block number 10. So we have two more blocks to do, and then they'll send out finishing instructions. This is the Pressed Flowers Quilt Along. This uses Sugarberry by Bunny Hill Designs for Moda Fabrics. And now that they're on block number 10, I don't don't think that they have any kits left. When they first release these, they do release kits that you can buy, and then they also have finishing kits as well, but they sell out pretty quickly. So if you like the first block, it's probably better if you can go and grab all of that stuff before they sell out. And you may still be able to get some of this fabric in their shop as well. And from the looks of it, I believe they're all being set on point. So here's the actual block, and then when you put it into the finishing, you do this to it. So it looks like a flower. So that one is really cute. It does say that you can find all the previous block patterns at Fat Quarter Shop as well. And I know once all of the boxes have been released, you can get all the patterns and the finishing and all of that at Fat Quarter Shop as well. We do have a little bonus item in this month's box. This is the B Vintage B Thread Cutter. This retails for $7.24. It's by Lori Holt for Riley Blake Designs and it just, look, just looks like a little bee <laughs> and it's a thread cutter, so very cute. The next thing in our box is a denim bee binding holder. This is by Lori Holt for Riley Blake. It retails for $6.98. And it said, this notion helps you be prepared for binding. The denim bee binding holder securely stores binding and keeps it from unraveling in your sewing space. Printed with an adorable beehive and floral design, the denim color is exclusive to Fat Quarter Shop. Enjoy this fun and functional notion. And so you basically just finish, get your binding ready, wrap it around this, I usually stick a little pin in the back so it doesn't come undone. It says it holds up to 12 yards of finished binding, works great to store fabric strips, ribbons, lace, um, and just helps you stay organized. It also has a little hole up here so you could hang it, like if you have a pegboard or something like that in your room, you could hang that as well. So that would be really cute. It is kind of thick. I think, um, I know Riley Blake puts out another one. It's like the churn dash binding holder and it's thinner. It's like ruler material. Um, and I, so I think that would take up less space. And I'd like to know what you guys think about these because I don't actually really use the binding holders. I tend to make my binding for each project as I'm going. Binding's the last thing I pick out. So once my project is ready, I make the binding and pretty much just put it on like right away. Now, if you are someone who pre-makes bindings or you're just trying to get ahead of the game and have your binding ready for when you're finished with a project. Um, these are probably helpful, but I don't really find that I use these all that much. So I'd like to hear your thoughts on these. Let me know in the comments below. Do you guys use these or are they just kind of like an added fun like to have but not need it? The next thing in our box are these needles. These are Microtex Sharp Sewing Machine needles in size 80 12. They retail for $4.98. And it says, keep your quilting looking sharp with the Schmetz Microtex Sharp Needle Needles. <laughs> These needles can be used for microfibers, polyesters, silk, foils, artificial leather, and coated materials. But we also love them for their very thin points for foundation paper piecing. Beautiful top stitching and perfectly straight stitches when precision is paramount. And I love the Schmetz brand. I tend to use either Schmetz or Organ Needles on my Juki. I have a TL2000QI if you are unfamiliar with my uh, machine. And I either use 9014s, which it tends to prefer for pretty much everything. The 8012s um, also work okay, but I find when I'm trying to free motion quilt on there, these actually cause my my thread to break. So I don't use these when I'm doing free motion quilting, but for piecing, they've been fine. Our next thing, and I always love getting rulers in my boxes because they're so fun. These, This is the Quilty Tools Quarter Inch Plus Ruler by Riley Blake Designs. It values at $7.98. And it says, dog ear this ruler as a new favorite. The Quilty Tools Quarter Inch Plus Ruler has bright blue quarter inch markings on every side, and it's the perfect size for everyday use. The angled corners are perfect for trimming those pesky dog ears as well. And you can see, 
the corner there is angled and so is this one. So I think that would actually be really helpful. Um, the other thing I have to just be mentally aware of when I'm using rulers like this, I always use creative grid rulers. And so I'm used to the markings. I know where everything is. They have half inch and full inch markings. So those are my kind of go-tos. These have nice clear markings. So I do like those, but I do have to just in my brain kind of do the half inch. I know it sounds silly, <laughs> but when you're used to having it marked for you on a ruler, you get really used to that. So I definitely would have to just pay attention to make sure that I'm cutting accurately. I do love that it has this little feature right here. Cutting off dog ears is kind of a pain. And so I do love that. That'd be really easy for snowball blocks because you always trim like a quarter of an inch from your stitch line and discard that rest. And so it'd be really easy to be able to see where that quarter inch is. So I think I think this little ruler is going to come in handy. It looks like it's two and a half inches wide by eight and a half inches tall. And then this little aqua portion is also kind of grippy. So I think it will help keep your ruler from slipping. So, so I do love getting rulers in my boxes. They're a lot of fun. I like trying new things and having new notions that can make my life a little bit easier. So I'm really excited to see this in this month's box. Here is the pattern for this month's box. It's called Haberdashery and it finishes at 46 and a half by 47 and a half. It uses a mercantile roly poly, which is 24 pieces of two inch by width of fabric strips. You'll also need some extra fabric for the borders, the background and the binding. And the pattern retails at $9.98. And it says you can always hang your hat on Lori Holt's scrappy, happy vision. This darling haberdashery quilt design tops off our list of her vintage inspired projects. Embellished with the haberdashery mercantile roly poly in this box, your sewing machine will be brimming with joy to create this charming quilt. It also says they do have have limited finishing kits available at Fat Quarter Shop. Um, this box, my unboxing is a little bit late, so you definitely want to run over and see if they still have some of those left if you're interested. And now my favorite part, the fabric. Look at that swirl. So much fun. So this is the Mercantile 24-piece Roly Poly by Lori Holt. It retails at $23.98 sense and it says you can scour all the flea markets and still come up short of the old-fashioned beauty in this fabric collection mercantile by Lori holt for riley blake designs holds a rich array of colors and prints inspired by the mercantile her grandmother once owned this charming fabric will inspire endless hours of delightful sewing and of course they go together perfectly like I mentioned, the boxes are $29.95. I added up all the contents of this month's box for you. It retails for $66.12. So pretty good value in this month's box. I also have some fun extras to share with you. These are some of the new things that Fat Quarter Shop has, and I thought I'd start showing them in my unboxing videos. I usually use these as giveaways for my craft podcasts. Um, I'm not always great about getting those filmed, so I wanted to make sure to share these with you in a timely manner. So let's go ahead and take a look at a few of the fun things. These will end up as giveaways so keep an eye out if you like any of these so we've got the january's snowman shelf life cross stitch jolly snowman cross stitch b and my bonnet stitch card set s the chicken club this one is called henrietta hometown neighborhood t this is the tea house the december stackables fa la la these are all by fat quarter shop and then love mini simply signs and they have two new quilt pattern releases the flirty quilt pattern and the sun drops and star flowers quilt so keep an eye out for those. I hope I will hopefully be filming a podcast for you soon and I'll be using those for some of the giveaways in that podcast. So that's going to be it for today's unboxing. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please make sure to subscribe to my channel. You can also hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any upcoming fun. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today and I will see you in the next video. They are $29.95 plus shipping a month. They are $29.99. The theme for this month is hats off to you. They can be kind of pricey, so I'm usually thinking twice before I buy a ruler. As a matter of fact, my big one that I use all the time, six and a half inch by 23 and a half inch, I dropped it and the end broke off kind of at a diagonal, and so I need to replace that, and I still haven't because I'm just lazy about buying rulers. Would I use it though? Because when I'm cutting, when I'm trimming, the dog ears get cut off.